If you're looking for one of the most unique and popular front grille options for that 2015 through 17 Mustang, well then the V-Series upper grille here might just be the ticket. Now the MMD V-Series grille will combine an injection molded plastic construction with a very cool horizontal bar design all for right around 200 bucks. Now the grille itself will install without the need for any cutting or permanent modification, but seeing as though that front bumper will need to come off first, the site is gonna knock this one up to a soft two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and take you a couple of hours to complete from start to finish as we will demonstrate a little later in the video. So I actually remember when the V-Series parts first came onto the scene a few years ago, I was with the 2015 V-Series Mustang at the SEMA show where the car and all of the parts were revealed and immediately stole the show. Now at the time, there was really nothing like the grills or the chin spoiler or that very aggressive rear spoiler for the S550 and as such, they all became very, very popular. Now fast forward a little bit and the V-Series grill here is still killing it with well over 100 reviews and a perfect five out of five rating, which let me tell you is not an easy task. Now, as far as what actually makes this option just so darn popular here on the site, I would say the biggie is no doubt the design, right? Again, there's really nothing quite like it in the category, featuring that horizontal bar design here in the center with the twin snorkels on the end that not only completely changes the look of the front end, but also really opens up the front end of the car for increased airflow and increased cooling. Now, I will say that look is only increased or magnified when you pair up the upper grille with the matching lower, which by the way, you can also find here on the site as well. But appearance aside, the grille is also built extremely well using original Ford CAD data, which means it's going to fit like a factory piece. Materials again here, gang, is going to be that thermal plastic or injection molded TPO material, which will be up to the task of handling any abuses or rocks the front end of your Mustang will typically encounter while on the road. Now that TPO material is given the slightest texture here with the grill itself, obviously done up in black, which by the way, completely eliminates that factory running pony emblem for a much cleaner look. Now quick heads up here guys, the MMD V-Series grill is unfortunately not gonna be compatible with the factory adaptive cruise control feature found on some of the higher end cars. So just keep that in mind before pulling the trigger. But now comes the point in the video where we wanna show you just what it takes to get everything installed on your ride at home. So to do so, here is that detailed walkthrough along with a quick tool breakdown. The tools used for this install are quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch impact driver, seven millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, a clip removal tool, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a small flathead screwdriver. So the first step of this install is gonna to be to get underneath the vehicle and remove the belly pan that you can see right behind me. There are about 20 screws and a handful of clips that need to be removed to pull the belly pan down so that you can get access to the back of the bumper where the chin spoiler is located. Next, I'm gonna remove the handful of push clips that hold the belly pan to the bottom of the car. Now that I've got the belly pan removed, I can unplug the fog light and turn signal bulbs from the underside before I move my way up to the top and remove the, the shields up top. Next, I'm gonna use a clip removal tool to remove the eight push clips that hold down the rad cover. Once I have this off, I can expose the upper screws for the bumper.
Now I can remove the six screws that hold the bumper down at the top. There's also one screw on either side underneath the weather stripping in the front of the bumper. Uh, ours have been replaced over time from use. Uh, they are gonna typically be a six or seven mil head screw and just remove them from each corner before you move to the wheel arches. Next, I'm gonna remove the two push clips that are holding the fender liner to the bumper so that I can peel the fender liner back and remove the screw that holds the bumper in the corner. So it's a little bit hard to see, but behind this corner of the bumper is a bracket that looks exactly like this. It's bolted to the fender, and there's a small screw that goes through the fender, into the bumper, and through its own bracket itself to hold this together at the corner. All you have to do is use a seven millimeter socket to remove the screw, and you can pull the corner of the bumper right off. And now we can just repeat this process on the other side. Now that we have everything disconnected, we can pull the front bumper off. So the factory bumper has some clips molded into the back of it, and in order to get the grill out of it, all you have to do is bend these little tabs down and out of the way, and keep pulling pressure onto the back of the grill to get it to disconnect. So to install the new grill, all you're gonna to need to do is line up the tabs with the holes in the grill. Put a little bit of pressure to get everything lined up. Make sure they're all started and just gently tap them into place. With our new grill installed, it's time to throw the bumper back on the car in the exact reverse order of removal.
And that's going to wrap up this review and install of the MMD V Series Upper Grill for your 15 to 17 Mustang. Thanks for watching, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.